Hey, what's going on guys? Luis here and welcome to episode number four of Five Tech You Never Knew Existed. As always, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. There's been over 30,000 of you that have seen all three episodes of the show and links will be in the description down below. Uh, but you guys seem to be loving it and I absolutely love making it. Uh, so expect a lot more coming up in the future. I know it's been a little while since the last one, so I apologize for that, but I promise you guys that this episode is going to be pretty awesome. There's a lot of cool tech that we're gonna be talking about. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So coming in at number five in no particular order is the Glove One Feel VR, which is essentially a virtual reality glove that lets you feel and touch virtual objects. So say for example, you're wearing a virtual reality headset and you're walking down some path or something and you see an apple. With this glove, you can now actually grab that apple and feel it and see how much it weighs and you can even throw it and things like that. So it actually works by translating touch sensations into vibrations. So there's 10 actuators alongside the palm and the fingertips of the glove and each one of those vibrate at different frequencies thus translating into an actual touch sensation. There's already an initial prototype and companies like Leap Motion are starting to work with the one glove, so hopefully we'll get to see it become a reality by 2016. Next up we have open ears, and these are Bluetooth headphones that are actually not made just for listening, but for recording audio too. So the company that makes them called Binaric actually claims that these headphones can record 3D audio, which is supposed to have a more acoustic and surrounding quality to it. So I could imagine that these would be great for for recording action videos like biking or snowboarding videos and the main technology behind these headphones is called interaural time difference or ITD for short. The way that ITD works is that depending on the direction that the sound is coming from one earpiece is actually going to sort of process the sound first uh, thus creating that sort of surrounding and acoustic experience. So definitely an interesting concept. Next up we have the Free, a high resolution virtual pen. Now the idea behind it is actually pretty simple but really genius. So right now we live in a world where touchscreens are the main source of input for our phones, tablets, and even some computers. The problem is that these touchscreens are really not the best experience when it comes to things like handwriting. And that is exactly where the free comes in. It essentially lets you write or draw anything uh, on any surface and then it translates whatever you sketched onto your phone. And the process that it takes for that to happen is actually quite complicated and involves an OTM sensor with a 3D laser. But details aside, it's an amazing idea and I can't wait to see it happen. And coming in at number two is the Blue, a wearable smartphone. So obviously we've seen companies like Samsung do this with their flexible OLED displays that we haven't really seen yet. Uh, and that is exactly what this company is trying to achieve. It uses a technology called Flexible Organic Light Emitting Diode, that was a mouthful, or F-OLED for short, which gives the screen the ability to roll into a 5.5 inch circle. Now obviously, in order for the screen to work in that sort of flexible mode, uh, the components inside of the phone also have to be flexible, so somehow this company actually was able to come up with a flexible battery and a flexible circuit board, which is actually pretty interesting. Other specs include a Snapdragon 810 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, an Adreno 430 GPU, and so on and so forth. So it's basically a flagship smartphone wrapped around your wrist. There's actually already a few working prototypes, and I don't know, it seems like such a cool idea, and I can't wait to see it happen. And finally, let's talk about Chip, the world's first $9 computer. So it seems like technology just seems to be getting cheaper and cheaper, and this is a great example of that. Now, obviously, the main feature of the chip would be just how tiny it is. Um, you can think of it sort of as a small circuit board, that pretty much does everything that a normal computer would do. It's got a 1 gigahertz processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, 4 gigabytes of storage, and even Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now, it virtually works with any monitor, but of course you're gonna have a bunch of adapters running around, uh, but you can also hook up a mouse wirelessly. It even has its own operating system, which is open source, and support for apps like Chrome and a few games. So that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll leave a few links down below to my Twitter account if you wanna follow me, that would be awesome. And I'm also working on having the first guest on the show, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but as always, thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.